Hey guys, my name is Sophie and I'm our director here at Journey Kids. Thanks for joining us this morning. This month, we will be talking about patience. Patience is about understanding that good things often take time to happen. Here at Journey Kids, we learn that being patient means trusting in God's timing. Let's discover together how we can practice patience in our everyday lives and trust that God's plans are well worth the wait. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater Your timing, you keep, it's always better So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on, cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting Your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on Cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you got I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me A cupcake? Yum! Skylar? Is this cupcake for me? Okay, I got frisbee sparklers. Skylar! I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm drooling over this cupcake. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a dog toy for the puppy my cousin's bringing to the cookout later. Oh. Don't worry, we'll have real cupcakes at the real cookout. Now I gotta wait. Hello, welcome to Story Lab. This week we're talking about patience while we take a look at the story of some people who had a little trouble waiting. Why me? Hi, I'm Skylar. And I'm Sebastian. Today, we're talking about patience, which is waiting until later for what you want now. I want a cupcake now. I'm still amazed this one's fake. It may be a fake cupcake, but it's a real dog toy. Hey, let's play real or fake. Great idea. Let's do it. Welcome to Real or Fake, the game show where you have to look at a photo and decide whether it's real or fake. Love this game. It'll be easy, right? Here is your first clue. Uh, hmm, is that a mop? Hmm, I might need one of those to clean up after the cookout. Wait, that's that's not a mop. I, th I think it's a dog. Dog? Yeah. Dog? Dog. Dog. 
And correct! Yes! It is not a mop, but it is a dog. Yes. Next image. Is it real or is it fake? That's a lot of gold. It looks really real. But wait, I bet they're chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate! That is correct! Yes! These are chocolate coins! Next image. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Looks like ice cream. That, that's ice cream. We're gonna go with ice cream? Yeah. Ice, ice cream. cream. And no. <laughs> Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This image is actually mashed potatoes. They mm -hmm. have been dyed with food coloring. You see, advertisers often use mashed potatoes instead of ice cream because it does not melt under the lights. Tricky, tricky. It pays to have a keen eye. Next image. More food. Okay. Sebastian, stand up. Listen, friend, I know it's difficult. I know you're being challenged, but you have to wait for the cookout later. Remember this. You will be okay. You're right, I'm okay. I can play this game, we got this. Okay, what are we thinking? What? I think it's a cheeseburger. I mean, if you look at the patty, yeah. the pickles, even the sesame seeds, real. But wait, what if it's a vegetable burger with a vegetable meat? Ooh, good point. Uh, I don't trust my eyes anymore, uh, you pick. But it looks really juicy, uh, okay. I think it's a real cheeseburger. Yeah. Real cheeseburger? Real cheeseburger. Real, real cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This delicious looking item is not a cheeseburger. It's cake. What? It's, it's cake? cake? I did not see that coming. I'd eat it either way. For sure. I'd have a hard time waiting for that one. Speaking of waiting, it's time for the story before the story. Today, we're in Exodus the second book of the Old Testament. After God chose Abraham and promised to bless the whole world through his family, the Israelites grew in numbers. But then, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. At last, God sent Moses to lead the people to freedom. Moses led God's people into the wilderness, where God provided food and water, which is where our story starts. Take it away. I'm Erica. The Israelites had been living under Egyptian rule for hundreds of years. Now free, in the wilderness, they had to learn what it meant to be God's people. When the Israelites camped near Mount Sinai, God's presence descended on the mountain in fire and cloud. God called out to Moses. You have seen for yourselves what I did to Egypt. You saw how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. Keep my covenant. You will be my holy nation. When Moses told the people, they were all in! We'll do everything, we'll do everything, we'll do everything the Lord has told us to do! God wanted to give Moses a special set of rules that would help them stay connected to God and keep them safe. So. God called Moses to come to the mountaintop. Wait for us here until we come back to you. Anyone who has a problem can go to my brother Aaron. Then Moses and his helper Joshua went up to the mountain. While Joshua waited, Moses went right into that cloud to speak with God. They were up there for 40 days and nights, which is a really, really long time. As you can imagine, the Israelites started to get impatient. They surrounded Aaron and demanded answers. Where is Moses? What's happened to him? Oh, uh, please uh, be patient. Moses will return. Yeah, you keep saying that. We need someone to lead us for reals. Like right now. You should make us a god. The Israelites were so impatient that they forgot all the ways that God had already provided for them. They forgot that they had promised to obey. Even Aaron panicked. Okay, okay, uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, 
Uh, bring me all your gold earrings. The people brought all their gold earrings and Aaron melted them together and formed a statue of a calf, a golden calf. The Israelites went all in right away. Hey, this is the God who brought us up out of Egypt. Uh, what? In their fear and impatience, Aaron and the people actually chose to worship their own golden jewelry. <laughs> Let's feast. Let's make sacrifices, eat and drink and dance before this golden calf. So that is what they did. They sacrificed burnt offerings, ate festive food and danced wildly in front of the statue. But in the meantime, on the mountain, God spoke to Moses. Go down. Your people you brought up out of Egypt have become very sinful. They have quickly turned away from what I commanded them. Please have mercy on your people. Moses, carrying two stone tablets with God's laws, started back down the mountain. Joshua hurried along beside him. When they got close to camp, they heard a loud noise. It sounds like war in the camp. That's not the sound of battle. That's the sound of singing. As they got closer, Moses and Joshua saw the people dancing in front of the golden calf. Moses was so angry that he threw the tablets on the ground and they broke. What did these people do to you? How did they make you lead them into such terrible sin? Please don't be angry. You know how they like to complain. They, they said to me, make us a god to worship. So I asked them for their gold, threw it in the fire, and out came this calf. Um, right. That calf just popped out of the fire on its own? Moses knew the truth. He was so angry that people had forgotten all God had done that he took the golden calf and burned it in the fire. Then he scattered the ashes in the Israelites' drinking water. It was a bitter reminder of what they had done. The Israelites' impatience led to some terrible things. But even when the people turned away over and over, God remained faithful and continued to provide for them on their journey in the wilderness. The end. Wow, the Israelites really crashed and burned on this one. Yeah, but when you're stressed out, it's really easy to forget all the good stuff God has done. True story. So, what's, what's our, our part, part in the story? story? When you have to wait, take time to focus on what's true. Think of the ways that God has helped you before. You can remember that God loves you deeply, no matter what. You can remember that God is always with you while you wait. Exactly, that's true. And God has also put people in your life to help you while you wait. You know, waiting can actually sometimes make things better. Like cupcakes. If you take them out of the oven too early, you're not gonna get cupcakes. You're gonna get a gooey mess. Waiting well is hard, but remember that you don't have to do it on your own. When we follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to live with us. And patience is actually a gift from God's Spirit. It is a gift you can ask for. Like every day. Sounds like you both have got it. See you next time. Bye. So here's the thing. When you have to wait, remember what's true. I waited a long time for this cookout. <laughs> Cupcake? I can wait. There are very real cupcakes at the cookout. Come on. Wait. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Wait for me.